so we didn't actually know. Apparently it wasn't booting up. There was some blue screen or whatever. We tried one disk. That didn't work. We think they might just not have selected the boot drive correctly. We're check. Oh, no, never Here mind. Um, problem has been detected. The Windows has been shut down to prevent damage to your computer. If this is the first time you've seen this stop error screen, restart your computer. If the screen appears again, follow these steps. Check for viruses on your computer. Remove any newly installed hard drives or hard drives controllers. Check your hard drive to make sure that it's properly configured and terminated. Run check SDF to check for hard Did drive corruption. Did they plug in the hard drive correctly? I imagine so. We were installing a Windows XP Service Pack 2 onto a H67 motherboard which supports SATA. So we were using a SATA hard drive. And the problem we ran into is that it wouldn't really recognize the hard drive. So what we're going to do to make it recognize the SATA hard drive is start up the computer, go into the BIOS settings, which should just pop up here in a second. You want to go to configurations, which will be your second um, column, and then you want to go down to SATA hard drives. Your first set of hard drive will be the one you're using, most likely. Um, sometimes it'll be a little bit different. And you want to go to chipset SATA mode. Currently we're at ACHI, which supports SATA features such as native command queuing. It's just kind of a SATA. And you want to go to IDE so it recognizes it. And that's about it. Now when you put in your Windows XP CD, it should recognize the hard drive and install normally. So it works now.